Which anime should I do a re-review next? Let's take a look. Let's see. Hmm, there's a lot to choose from. Hmm. Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo? You mean this one? I'm gonna do a redo on Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo here on today on Anime Retrospect. <laughs> Yes, this is the first time we're going to be doing a review on all. When Lupin the Third started as a manga in the 60s, this has been spawned into a series of movies, television series, video games, OVAs, TV specials, commercials for gas station ones, every other commercials there. And there's also the well, live-action Lupin movie that were released in Japan or any certain ones and not only that you also have the CGI loop in the third movie that came out two years ago as well back in 2019 as well why am I gonna bring this up today we're gonna be doing a review for a, a like a redo revisiting from the past to honor of its anniversary for this movie especially this classic anime movie that I just watched, and that is Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo. Released in December 16, 1978, this is basically wanted to cash in on how this was, would have been like if it wasn't for the, t the second television series, a.k.a. Red Jacket. As well. well, it was still airing at the time, though, from what I understand, for how this goes. And also, this has an English, the first English dub by Frontier Enterprises, which is distributed for Toho Studios until Streamline Pictures got an English dub for Lupin the Third, Secret of Mamo, right next to Castle of Cagliostro, right next to Lupin the Third, the Castle of Cagliostro, and two episodes for Lupin the Third, Red Jacket series, which we will cover Lupin the Third, the Castle of Cagliostro at one point eventually. For another, for another, for next, for 2022, I guess. So, without any further ado, let's review this. This is Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo. We start off the story, right, where the the character of Lupin is being sent to the gallows of being hung on his neck, but he wasn't dead, but he was pretending that he was dead, especially in Castle. Well, Dracula in Transylvania, where Zenigata, who knows that he's famous of how he can capture Lupin when he went to the the coffin that he thought that there's some Dracula references, when Zenigata wanted to kill Lupin with the stake through the heart, but it was fake, so it was a trick. When he finds out that he's not the only one, as how he expects that Lupin is still alive in this one, from what I understand. And yeah, that's how rumors has it of how he could have realized that Lupin is still alive. When Zenigata always had to not uh, get playing because he wanted to go after Lupin, but Lupin takes off when Lupin escapes in a Batwing paraglider, especially. Sometimes later, we see Zenigata once again where he followed Lupin's trail thanks to some of how the, they're to the pyramids of Egypt, especially of how, where they wanted to know something going on. Oh, yes, the, they were how, expectantly of how what you see happening in this movie. 
Especially how what you noticed in this one. So when they were when Lupin and Jigen wanted to look for something, which it looks like a some philosopher's stone, when the system is accidentally tripped, how they flee when they were caught by Zenigata and the local authorities. When they wanted to outrun the authorities, they went on a motorcycle out of the pyramid just before they were almost to escape. But that's how you see until we see Goemon Ishikawa had to slice the, the tire to the the motorcycle with his sword. Despite how there's anything what to how Lupin has a, want to know if there's Zenigata. Until they figure out they use the rope just to outrun on Zenigata, especially for Lupin, Jigen, and Goemon, until they went to the car to as their escape away as well, when they speed off. As, until we see the appearance of Fujiko, oh, however, especially how she could have figured it out in the shower scene part, until how this something realized until when Lupin partners sometimes the rival how they trade for that stone when Lupin swiped when how he's basically how you want I'm still figure it out if there's the consideration of how for what between Lupin and Fujiko had why is it if he if he wanted a kiss from her but he wasn't thinking of trying to tap until when Fujiko said this, as if she wanted to know if Lupin is a great guy or a suitor or something, how. Until this, well, could be. She could be a little sweet. She could also be sour with a suit. Uchi Comanche, when she freezes him in the place to allow her to swipe the stone with, to leave, running off, leaving Lupin with nothing of how this. When she takes the stone, the unseen employer hasn't overlooked by his lurch look, especially to be fake. When Lupin allowed her to take open the spy on the deal of the real stone on him, Mr. Yavone likes his games, especially when he passed along thanks it was a fake. And now he learned the price of the trifling with Mamo, especially this character in the story of how we introduced. When Lupin and G going on and Jigen we mentioned the mortality of how the Philosopher's Stone, what Mamu was interested, especially they sent out a helicopter to attack Lupin and Jigen and Goemon, especially if they can outrun the cat, the attack, especially of how the story goes, particularly. And yeah, they, yes, they, of course, the helicopter has found their, tr their attacks as well, which is basically how something just not going quite well, especially of how, to the point out, when, when they take off the helicopter, it seems to be more harder as it, how it goes, particularly, for what, how it seems as well. When they were in, how it went, that was until Goemon Ishikawa uses his sword, especially of how he can kill, slice off the, one on one with the helicopter, as well, well as the helicopter explodes, as through from the which is all the way from the sewers, as well. Before Lupin and was in the car with Jigen, Fujiko, and Goemon just to escape the the attack, as how when Lupin was to kick around to wanted to leave Fujiko behind, while the other two wanted to realize. Of course, it was until they were followed by Zenigata when he was in the car, especially. Of course, it was like, where do they want to go next? Especially in the story. And especially of how there's a lot of things making up a lot for this movie as well. And yeah, of course they did. Especially of how the chase goes until they were followed by a big truck as a little things, how it was behind their tracks between the Interpol, which is in the 
because that biggest truck smashes the the police Interpol cars like a monster truck, which is in its way. I mean, who is inside that truck, especially in Lupin the Third, as well? Of course, they outrun those Interpol car police cars, but it was trying to follow to outrun Lupin's car in its way, but then. They were going to figure it going well, if they could have realized, but instead, they fall off of the highway. But not exactly, but r rode on the rail, so they outrun the truck. Which is basically watching something expect to see out of the Blues Brothers 2000, but th this kicks ass than that, as I suspect. Is how what Lupin in the in the car ch truck chase outrun, but that's how it was until the truck has fallen off the road, off of the cliff. After the two calls the noon, when the farmer former plane was flown large by the second of how the nearest hideout, off screen, Jigen and Goemon are quick to blame when Fujiko is the only one who could told Mamo about the. When the two arguing are amongst each other of how what they were going to do, especially of how this basically throwing in insults about Jigen's hat, what Goimon throwing in insults as well. But that's how things just going all scot free as well. When Lupin took off with like a little question of Waterloo upon always, like towards the ocean. But that's how he didn't notice something. There's a things how obvious. Speaking of which, the free were managed to in the abandoned house of supplies just until Fujiko appeared. As well, when Lupin noticed that Fujiko is still alive. Of how this is basically when he felt like he like it's a parent. Heels, his head heel over heels as a parent damsel, which is the straw when breaks the camel's back for Jigen and Goemon. Well, I mean, seriously, like, how the girl... How look the girls... Look in trouble? They think... She, yeah, Lupin told her that she's in trouble, but Jigen says she's trouble as well. Cause I'm to think of it. This is exactly of how... They... How this happened. Of course, this goes. When Lupin loses his gang support with Jigen and Goemon, leaving him alone with Fujiko, because the partnership with is over always. If they could have feel it, realize if how they could understand. This ain't the first time this would you would expect seeing in this from an episode that this is not the same time that. Is expected when sad things ain't peachy between the lovebirds for what but Lupin isn't fully trusted enough for Fujiko and yet there's some hidden agendas as how this particularly goes when sooner or later the surprise smooch ago the drunk food cost Lupin goes tired like he passed out when he sleeps she radios this other person picks up. Luckily, Jigen notices the plane flying by when he shoots. So they arrive after in Spain, after the paper falls off the plane, when he's traveled by a suitor uh, as well. When he was being captured alongside by some men, along with, which are the U.S. Navy base, which Goemon was being in, along as well. When they were just putting up how the craft deployed, when the pre Mr. Pre uh, uh, how this things goes, of how the psychological biochemistry, premium, as well as the president, how it see in this anime as well. There's a little part of fact of how the easy days of how the line is pretty very timeless, particularly in this movie as well as the other leads of how the water hidden. You know, as when they wrote. When they realized when that Fujiko wrote on the location of Mamo's face, where it's in the Caribbean, when Lupin outruns, escapes from the captured cage like an almost animal, 
And there's some layout, which is the harbor, some impressive visuals, like those paintings, especially what you've never seen, which has gone before from many other historic references on here. If only would have... Nice. And Luke, finally we meet the bad guy, Mamo, the Mamo himself, especially how it's obtained the Philosopher's Stone, especially how he's the... that Mamo is the scary-looking villain as well. Suddenly, of how the personified types of genius, of how incapable rational thought as well, from the looks. When Lupin wants to know that he's been up to as well, that he thought Mamo can walk on air, except Lupin, but he fell. Where Mamo just stepped on something, that's how that, that wasn't long before Xenagata appears for the viewing points as well. Has a little better. Realize that Mamo was known all over, a billionaire called Harold Lockwood, using cloning technologies of forms of every. of how the guy wanted to give Fujiko some reason for Lupin because of the skills. Of when Fujiko is because of how she realized something happened as well for how to expect seeing of how where does she want to go next especially for the title character as well for Mamo gets a quick chase at when he tries to persuade Fujiko to give up Lupin when these earlier points of the film goes anyway as well I mean Mamo attempts to showing off the professions of straight how Lupin's mind including the actual parts of the film, including the live action, nudity, Prince Charming indeed, talk about a guy spying on Fujiko in the shower, in the, which is in the beginning of the film, which is from new it all along. Quick heads up of how this happened, particularly right there, as how when there is a not much else for Lupin's hints, when he never dreams before Mamo could kill Lupin before the U.S. Air Force's are going to start to attack the island when Zenigata noticed something going on happening of how the US Air Force is doing as well as from what to expect until well, Go Goemon has to fight off some local some minion who was under Mamo with the sword particularly until the sword breaks which it eventually kills Mamo's minion into p sushi bits pieces, like sushi bit pieces as well, which it kills the bad guy, which puts him in a bad mood. And then he, Jigen wanted to know if that he could, uh, he just kills the bad guy as well, especially if how Goemon thinks he's no worthy after the sword was broken. But clearly, Meanwhile, G Egan travel, uh, yeah, as well, for what he uh, realized. So after Lupin, Jigen, and Goemon, and Fujiko escape from the, with from the, from the, the island with the boat, the motorboat. When G Zenigata asks the commissioner if he has failed to capture Lupin, when he travels all the way, if he could figure out of how he can capture Lupin for justice. Because he works for the Interpol, that's why. So, if, where does he want to go next as well? When Lupin w real, woke up from his bad dream, he realized how the sword was broken. Which is, things is going well until this how he thinks that Goemon is not worthy. But until the appearance of Mamo arrived once again. Because they thought Mamo was dead. Especially how this goes until, you know, when Mamo had to capture Fujiko on air just before the earthquake happens in the building. Because he realized it was the cloning body of Mamo for what Lupin has found out when she knew it all along, especially. So when the gang, Lupin in, how he wanted to realize of how he could, he, Jigen, and Goemon wanted to know 
uh, Hiku proved to disapprove of playing out for Jigen when he wanted to create a, the nuclear plant owning by the Mamo's company as how. So what they realized of how this happens going on, especially for, or this happened in this, ever since Fujiko was captured by Mamo's cloning as well. Because yeah, that's how, if they could understand as well, from what I understand in the story, if that, they think they're, how, the next day until when Zenigata notices something, what he sees, if there's anything goes right, happens. Especially when there's a completely, how these anomalies and festivity, especially in the case of how there's such chaotic pollution, how the internal life comes for what Mamo is the one has the last ace up his sleeve to achieve to blow up the rest of the world with missiles when he and Fujiko would be the last remaining beings on Earth. How? How they're... What, what is the point of how this goes? Like the new Adam and Eve as well in its own certain manner. I mean, making sure the crops are never... How when Lupin proceedings the reveal that he rigged the missiles starting exploding with the base when it stops Mamo from rushing with Fujiko just to put those security lights to stopping him from getting cornered is something how what Lupin and, and how notices how that Mamo is up to something these diplomatic scenes because of that but that wasn't long when Lupin has to take the the tight lock ring as well if he could how he could stop Mamo especially in this one but that's how it was when he when it kills Ma something kills Mamo which it burns Mamo alive in its own way thanks for yeah thanks for going how he wanted to know because he used he might have used the piece of the broken sword with Mamo dead taking food into burn crisp when he saved Fujiko when Lupin realized how they killed another clone of Mamo when there was a giant brain in a jar what's been hidden up in the entire time of willingly what you see in this one especially of how there's something, and they notice something going on happened in this particular thing of how the story goes. There's something how it's a little too. If they what do they want to go next? Especially, as well how it happens in Loop in the Third, the mystery of Mamo, as well, which is basically how they think. Where do they go next until? Zenigata appears to capture Lupin with the handcuffs on the leg as well. That's how, how basically just to break up the festivities of how they're, they were stuck on the island at the U.S. Russian mil... That's all. They were... The country sent missiles at Mamo's face interrupting Lupin and Fujiko was romantic, passionate. Lucky for Jigen and has to come to make to save in the plane as well. When that's how it was before Fujiko leaves them behind. When Goemon realizes of how the destiny is, but that's how Lupin and Zenigata uh, are forced to put their, their chase on hold. So they were running for their lives on the missile from the explosions on foot. And that's how you end this anime movie. The story was great and all, but it's very well done written, especially very creative for an anime film like Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo, as particularly how it's very well done. Because I well, thought, from what I understand as well, of how the story goes. The story was great. The animation all, it looks very different. If they could have used the designs for the Lupin the Third Red Jacket series of how this thing goes. Also... From what I understand, from to say the least as well, from what I understand. Not only that, you also have basically 
The animation's good. The music was composed by Yuji Ono, who composed the music for the loop in the third series as well. Because I think the music's pretty good. There's some parts of it. There's some parts, moments in the music part as well. Yeah, the characters are in it. We introduced every character's on there. This wasn't the first loop in the third movie being made by TMS Entertainment, because this is basically TMS Entertainment's first theatrical film, though. The, the sound was good. The the Engli the Japanese dub is pretty good. Although the English dub for this anime movie, like The Secret of Mama, has got an English dub by Pioneer Inter Genion Entertainment on there back in 2003, which is when the Red Jacket series was airing on Adult Swim at the time in the early 2000s as well. My enjoyment, if you want to watch some binge watch on something like Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo, get it. I highly recommend. I hope you have it on DVD because this is also released by Discotheque Media back in 2013 also. My enjoyment, I really loved this movie because I never knew that this was the first Lupin movie when then Castle of Cagliostro was the second Lupin movie. So that's, and my, my score for this one, a 10 out of 10 as well. Or a 5, just a 5 out of 5 as well. Just That's my new score for this anime. So that's going to be it for my review on here on Anime Retrospect on Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo for today's review on Anime Retrospect. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm saying for this one. Well, I have reviewed this once because I had to go revisit it for the first time here on Anime Retrospect, from what I understand. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter, Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media, smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section below. What do you think of this one in the comment section below? Let me know on this because I have to get some analysis. That's why. Eh? Because I had to look back on there as a little retrospect, certain way, like a little redo from the past as well. And also, happy anniversary to this movie. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer. Smack the notifications bell button. Keep it otaku for this re-review, because this is the first time i got to re-review this, like a redo on here on Anime Retrospect also as well. This is RuRoniK95 saying thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you soon for the next video. And until and next, until next, until then... I decided to cover something, another 80s classic that I have remembered watching on VHS for a classic old-school anime for a change. Until next time.